Hey everyone, welcome to my Tomb Raider Underworld playthrough. I am so excited to get into this. I love this game. Although I do not love the start of it. For anyone who doesn't know, you will see why very, very soon. So I do believe there is a recap trailer here for Tomb Raider Legend. Ooh, so yeah, let's do the previously trailer. You never have to be cold, my Lara, if you don't want to be. Aww. No, get back! What's happening, Mother? Oh, Lord, what is it? Oh, God, no! Mother. Mother! Lara Croft, meet Jacqueline Neff. It was you. You were the Queen of Atlantis. Once. I cannot die. Oh. Ah! I think this stone unlocks the door. The door might be trapped. We're trapped. Amanda! I think Amanda might not have died down there. You idiot! You ruined everything! Make sense right this second, or I swear I'll execute you where you stand! She's not dead! Wow. Even in a trailer, that scene still makes me like, whew. So yeah, that was a nice recap of Legend and also just recapped what I suppose we would have played through an anniversary. So that was handy. And let's also watch the teaser trailer for this game because if I remember correctly, it's really, really cool. I remember seeing this um, back in the day when it came out and I was just like, what? It looks so cool. This game is so detailed. You can see the massive difference from the detail between Legend and Underworld. This game looks insane. As in, insanely beautiful. <laughs> Yikes. So yeah, with this teaser, we obviously knew that Croft Manor was gonna go on fire and be destroyed, but you've no idea why. Um, this was a really, really cool teaser. It's so cool! And of course, yeah, you're looking at that going, why the hell would Lara blow up her own home? Well, I guess we'll find out as we get deeper into the game. I think that's one of the best game teasers ever. That is so good. Right, so I've got a little bit of a sore throat today, so do bear with me. It's um, it's a bit scratchy, but it's it's okay. Okay, so let's just get into it and start a new game. Wait, how do I do that? Resume game? No. New game. There we go. Uh, if you choose new game, yeah. And we'll go for just the middle again, a Tomb Raider. Whoa! <laughs> Sorry. I wasn't expecting that. I'm so excited. It's so sad though, breaks my heart to see Croft Manor like that because I love it so much. <sighs> Jeez, that's taken a long time to load, isn't it? Should I be worried? Why is it taking so long? 
Oh no, it's okay. So yeah, we're starting off in Croft Manor with Lara and again, look how insanely beautiful she looks. She's more kind of angular in this game. I do prefer her legend kind of softer look slightly, but she looks so amazingly beautiful in this too. So yeah, Croft Manor has gone on fire and exploded for some reason. We don't know why. Let's just go. These effects are amazing. I love the way she holds her hands as well against the heat. That's such a cool detail. Right, and this is kind of just a training level type thing, I think. Actually, that is really, really annoying and sad. We don't get a craft manor in Underworld and I am really annoyed. They were basically like, this is your craft manner. Uh, excuse me. It's oh. Would you look at that? There's no roof. Yeah, I I reject this as craft manner. It's it's burning to the ground. Ooh, medipack. That's probably the thing I dislike the most about this game is that this is what they give us for for craft manner. Anyway, I will let it go and just continue. Is that far enough? Woo! Okay. Oh. Well, oh, that's got on in it. Right. That's a big box. I wonder what that was for. Maybe just decoration or something. Um. Oh, I forgot actually in this. She doesn't, um... She doesn't lean in the direction she's supposed to be jumping, like in Legend. I have to get used to that. Right. Woo! <laughs> the way she stood with her hands on her hips there at the end, like, yeah, whatever. Falling ceiling, fire, I don't care. <laughs> but seriously, look at the graphics. They are insane, so cool. Grapple swing. Woo! Woo! Something a bit weird happened there, but it's okay. We'll just keep going. Look out! It's not no. Such a good intro to the game. So so good. I'm so I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I love this game. Except for this this bit now. <laughs> One week earlier. Wow. That is a is a cold looking wetsuit. I'm I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say it. Hey, Lara. Find it yet? Patience, Zip. I warned you that conveniently undiscovered islands would be scarce in the Mediterranean. <laughs> Are you sure this Eddington chap knows what he's talking about? If he says father was convinced the path to Avalon was here, I have no reason to doubt it. Fair enough. But it's... Well, we've been talking... You've been talking, man. Mm. It's just... All right. Maybe Avalon is real, but just because some bad woman tells you your your mother didn't die after all. I mean, look, I, I don't want to seem heartless, but this, this idea of your mum living in some, some Celtic underworld, it's a, it's a little bit mental, isn't it? I have no illusions that my mother is holding court in some mythical paradise, Alistair. I only want the truth, whatever it may be. I'll ring you later. Okay, the path to Avalon. Yes, we're on a boat in the middle of the ocean. 
with only one place to go, which is down. I played this for the first time, I think when I was around 15 or 16 or so, and I like blindly played through this. And when I tell you I was hyperventilating when I realized they wanted me to dive down into the ocean, it took me several hours to complete this section. Let's hope it doesn't take that long today. Before we enter hell, uh, let me just really quickly go through that. So as we discussed already, Croft Manor is on fire. It exploded for some reason. We saw what looks like Lara blowing up her own mansion and setting it on fire. So Lara makes her way through the burning mansion to the main hall. Zip sees Lara and for some inexplicable reason opens fire on her. So we don't know anything else at this point that is kind of left unexplained and open-ended for the moment. Now we have cut back to one week earlier and evidently everyone's getting along fine. Lara, Zip and Alistair are all getting along. Nothing has happened yet. Lara is on a boat in the middle of the Mediterranean Sea and unfortunately no she is not going to Ibiza. <laughs> I thought that song is just in my head every time I say Mediterranean Sea. Anyway, Zip and Alistair video call Lara to check in and see if she's found anything yet. We find out that Lara is here looking for the path to Avalon because at the end of Legend, Amanda told us that Lara's mother was sent to Avalon when she pulled the sword out of the stone dais. So Lara's father, Richard Croft, believed that the path to Avalon was located in ruins at the bottom of the Mediterranean Sea and her father had planned to explore these ruins himself before he died. He evidently never got a chance to. The location of these ruins was contained within Richard Croft's research, which he shared with his friend Professor Eddington a Cavendish laboratory, which I looked it up and it is the Department of Physics at the University of Cambridge. So this Professor Eddington is a physics professor basically and Richard was good friends with him and he shared with him all of his plans to try and find Avalon and all of his research. So if we remember at the very end of Legend, Lara asked Zip to call Professor Eddington and set up a meeting because she knew he was friends with her father. Lara and Professor Eddington have evidently had this meeting and Professor Eddington shared with Lara the specific location of the ruins. So that's why Lara is here in this exact spot. She knows that just down below where her boat is should be these ruins that contain the path to Avalon. I never understood that before. I never understood why we randomly start the game in the middle of the sea. So that was interesting to find out. Lara then assures Alistair and Zip that she doesn't have some illusion of her mother still being alive in some mythical paradise. Lara only wants to know the truth of what happened to her mother. She's not particularly expecting to find good news or find her mother or anything. She just wants to know what happened to her. Okay, so let's get stuck into this hellish level. We also have a, oops, that's not the right one. We also have a journal in this, hang on. Here we go. We'll read journal entries as well. So my father died in a tragic accident while searching for Avalon, the mythical resting place of King Arthur. I never shared his belief that it had played any role in my mother's disappearance, but recent events make me suspect otherwise. Professor Eddington knew the coordinates father intended to investigate next, but did not know how he had determined them or if he had confirmed the existence of a rune at the location. That's up to me. And as far as rewards go, we have 26 treasures and one relic. I don't know why it says I have 10 out of 26 treasures when I started new game. That's weird, isn't it? Or does it tell you how many are in each section? Uh, 
I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, that's weird, but sure, look, we'll give it a go. Oh, she's having a stretch. So yeah, her boat is pretty cool, but there's there's nothing really on it, unfortunately. Yes, I'm stalling. I don't want to go in. <laughs> I don't want to go into the water. Oh, this is terrifying. This is terrifying. This is terrifying. Um, right. The ooh seagulls. Right, Suzanne, just 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 go, just go, 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 go in. Ooh. Oh my god. 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 Um, what? Why can't I get the controls? Can I? Whoa! Don't know. Can't you just? There we go. Okay, I got the controls. I got the controls. I got the controls. Let's just keep going. Let's just keep going. I'm okay. I'm. I'm actually. I'm. I'm. Oh, what the? Why are you going so slow? Stop that! Oh God! Oh God! I can hear something. I can hear something. I can hear something. No, 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 I'm hiding in here. I'm hiding in here. Get away from me. Oh, oh my God. Can I, can I shoot you? Oh. Can I, uh, um, get, yeah, uh, how do I, how do I switch guns? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Whew. Okay, guys, I'm freaking out, I'm freaking out, I'm freaking out, I'm okay. Um, yes, I, mm, how do I, mm, hang on. Oh, there we go, got it. Right. Let me see if I can shoot some of these. Oh, 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 why is it jumping around the place? Screw up! Did I get <laughs> no. no Die 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 Why Oh Did I get them? Did I get them all? How many did I get? Oh my god, that was an absolute disaster. But mm, did I did, mm, did I get I got two I got yeah I got two I th I thought there was a third one did I get it oh well I guess it's just gonna randomly bite me in the arse then as I'm swimming around right let's just go in here. Let's just go in here to this, this thingy, this door. Okay. So we need... One more of these to open the door. Now I'm going to swim around and try and get the treasures. Hang on. How do I... There we go. Put on my light. I'm going to try and get the treasures. But... Ooh! There we go. I usually honestly just skip the treasures here because I'm just so badly wanting to get out of here. So I usually don't pick them up, but I I'm I'm gonna try my best to pick them up. Okay, 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 oh god, 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 Jellyfish, they're so pretty. Oh, why, why does it keep jumping around the place? Do I need a different setting? Now, hang on, I am nearly sure that I'm supposed to have. A treasure here. What is going on? Why did it start out with treasures gone? No, no, this is, this is stupid. Hang on. Haha, -ha, I did it. Okay, so <laughs> I looked it up and some people said it can be a bug with the game. 
So I just went into my Tomb Raider Underworld folder and deleted all of the save files from there and all the auto saves and everything as well. And that seems to have fixed it. So great. Um, the only thing is now I have to dive down the freaking thing again. But you know what? I'm so irritated at this stage that I'm not even, I'm not even afraid anymore. Yeah, did you hear that? I'm not afraid anymore. I'm just irritated now. Irritated and annoyed that I have to do this again when I, would you stop, Lara? That I had, Lara. That I, would you get down? Oh god, oh god. Get in. Get in with the jellyfish. Oh, there's one there. Get in with the jellyfish, Lara. No! <laughs> oh, you asshole. You actual asshole. Right, give me that spear gun. You are in for it now. No. <laughs> Oh, you're moving too fast. Right, where are I? Oh, I can hear something. Is that me? Can I hear myself? Right, we've got one, two. Where'd the other one go? Right, there's one over there. I'm not, I'm not getting that one if it's not bothering me. Hello? I must have gotten the other one then. Exact same thing as what happened last time. I guess I'll find out when it bites me in the arse. I guess that's just the way this level is gonna go. Right, okay. So I'm gonna try and calm down and recover myself. Oh, pick up that treasure. Get Lara, excuse me. Right, it'll take me a while to get get the hang of these controls. Um Okay. I don't I don't see the third one. Um where's my light? There, you see I knew I knew there was one in here. Knew something was wrong with this game. Right. Um, so I'm not sure if I have the absolute best settings selected for this. So if you guys notice anything wrong and have any tips, um, do put them, put them below. I am so scared that a shark is just gonna come along and bite my butt. I can't, I can't handle this. Right, I am torturing myself to get these stupid treasures. Oh, oh god, it's dead. It's dead. It's dead. Right. Just calm down. Calm down. Ooh, okay. Pretty sure there's treasure hidden. Yes. See, if I wasn't collecting these stupid treasures, I'd be done now. I would, where am I going? I would be done. Where the, oh, oh God, those jellyfish hurt. Um. Oh yeah, and Lara has like a, a breathing device on by the way she's not <laughs> she's not just holding her breath for a ridiculously long amount of time um oh sorry the exit's out here i i'm completely panicked i'm completely panicked and i'm i'm just babbling away to myself as well to um 
oh god oh god oh god, oh god. to to distract myself and try not to think about the the sharks right can i just leave this here can i there we go okay right i'm gonna leave you there and i'm gonna come back after i after i get the stupid treasures okay we got three didn't we so there's um three uh, there's three more Was that, uh, was that a shark? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Don't think about it. Right. Have I already been in here? Is this, see this is what happens to me. Yeah, this is literally the one I was just in, isn't it? This is what happens to me. I, oh no, it's not, it's a new one. I get really disorientated during this bit as well because everything looks the freaking same and I'm terrified and I can't swim properly and there's sharks trying to bite your ass and it's just it's a lot to deal with you know have I been slightly putting off starting underworld because of this yes yes I have okay so there's there's two more treasures there I just want to hide in here can I just hide in here forever oh god oh god oh god oh god, oh god. okay so there's there's a far like a far rock one in a far rock is it somewhere around here ish oh oh, oh god shark 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 shark, shark. Get away from me. Hello? Oh! Get away. Have I run out of spears? I don't know. I don't know what's after happening. Okay. Oh! Oh, I think I found... I think I found something here. I haven't been in here. Yes! Okay. Great. So now I'm just missing the last treasure. And it's on... I think it's on... A, ooh, why the music? It's so creepy. I think it's on a shelf on one of the taller rocks. So let me just ooh, let me just ooh, is that alive? No, okay, hang on. Hang on. Let me go back to safety in here. And and let me just have a let me just have a think. Right. Oh god, there's another shark, right. Shoot you. Ooh! Shoot you. Die. Um, was that the shark from over there? Did that follow me? I still only see three and I'm pretty sure there's four. I need to, I need to calm down. I, I just need to, I need to, yeah, I need to calm down. Okay, so is the treasure hidden? somewhere along this rock oh my god this is the worst this is the worst thing ever 
Do we need... Do we need this treasure? No, we don't. We don't... We don't need it. Oh, where is it? Please, please just let me find it. Where is it? Oh my god. Oh, guys, I don't know where it is. I don't know where it is. Oh, I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. Oh god. Um. Okay, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to look this up because I I am completely freaking out right now and I can't I can't keep swimming around looking for it I just can't I'm actually gonna have a heart attack okay so it says that it is it is on this tower where I thought it is so it's to the left it should be okay I oh I think I have to go higher up higher up to the left here surely it's not higher up than that <sighs> oh god oh god oh god oh god okay ah there it is oh my god oh my god quick quick, quick. pick it up and let's go Where's that shark gone? I don't know. I can't see it. Go, go, go. Oh, okay. Go, 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 go. Oh my God. Oh my God. That was the worst thing ever. That was the worst thing ever. That was so bad. Okay. Okay. Let's just get inside. Um. So we have to... Put the eyes in the middle. Um. Oh, oopsies. Hang on. Oh. Got an extra eye here. Okay. Once more should do it. There we go. <sighs> it's really, really cool, but really, really scary. Right, let me just double check that I got them all. Yes, okay, so I got the six of them. Okay, so evidently there are ruins down here where Lara's father thought they were. So now we need to, I suppose, search these runes and see if they are indeed the path to Avalon. Let's go. <sighs> and there's a, a treasure somewhere here. Maybe it's down here? Yes. Okay. Oh god. This gave me a freaking heart attack the first time I played this. I screamed so bad. Oh my god! I screamed so bad because I thought when we swam through here, it would be here. Right, get me out. Get me- oh no, Lara! What are you doing? Right, and we have to kick a lot of these jars um because there's a lot of treasures hidden in those i'm not a huge fan 
of the treasure system in Underworld, I have to say. I usually don't bother collecting the treasures. I just feel like there's too many of them and it kind of breaks the flow of gameplay to have to constantly kick jars and stuff like that. But I will try my best to get all of the treasures. Right, this game is so beautiful though. So detailed. Right, there's a treasure down here. Oh, what was that sound? How do I get out? Let me out. Oh, and her, <laughs> her like scuba gear just kind of disappears when she gets out of the water. Uh, oh, and these are health things as well. They don't tell you that. They're called health potions, I think. Oh, I suppose it comes up on the screen. But yeah, I wish they'd kind of stuck with how things were done in Legend. I think I liked that better. But... I mean, it like this is fine. It's not it's not bad or anything. Eh. Where am I? Where am I going? Uh, I think I missed something. Hang on now. Ooh. Great, I missed a treasure. Oh. Oh, I missed that. Oh. Uh, the camera's a bit weird. Hang on. I can't see any options to adjust the camera. So if you do have any suggestions for that, let me know. Or is the camera in this just not great? It is quite possible. Okay. Wow. Check that out. It's hard to see because it's so dark, but it's really cool. Ooh! Yikes, okay. Oh, I can hit people with these if I want. Oh, they made them look so heavy as well. The animation, they look so, so heavy. I think that's it. It's, it's just amazing. It really is. Incredible. The carvings are clearly similar to early Germanic design, but this is far older than the 5th century, yet, strangely enough, more sophisticated. proto Norse runes. Let's see. World of Mist. That would be Niflheim, the realm of the dead. Not Avalon exactly, but the Norse equivalent. Now we are into Niflheim. So just to very quickly go through that cutscene, because again, that is a cutscene that has just always confused me. As I said, I've played through this so many times and I have just never hugely understood this whole section. Like I just found a lot of the mythology and everything quite confusing. Lara examines the carvings that are around the room and finds them to be early Germanic in design, yet somehow much, much older. So I was like, um, okay, what is Germanic designs though? I don't really understand. So I looked that up. So during the first centuries AD, runes were developed in places populated by Germanic tribes, possibly inspired by the Latin alphabet of the Romans. The earliest of these runic inscriptions 
dated from around 150 AD. So my understanding is that she's basically saying these look like Germanic runes from 150 AD onwards but at the same time they look so much older than 150 AD and these Germanic runes were particularly common in what is now known as Denmark, Northern Germany and Southern Sweden. So yes, Lara comments that these runes look much older, much more sophisticated in a way which she finds strange. Lara deciphers the runes that are above the door and discerns that they mean World of Mist, which she takes to mean Niflheim, which is the Norse realm of the dead and basically the Norse equivalent of Avalon. So yeah, it's a bit weird. This is not what Lara expected to discover down here. Her and her father expected to discover Avalon, but now we're discovering Niflheim, a Norse underworld. It's it's definitely not what she expected. So I guess we just have to keep exploring to find out more. Okay, let's go into Niflheim. There are a few treasures. Did I miss? Did I miss one? Can I jump on this? No. <sighs> Trying so. Ooh, look at that. The blue. The blue flame. So cool. So, yeah, I'm trying so desperately to remember where these treasures are. Oh yeah, it's up here. Woo! Got it. Oh god. Am I alive? What happened? Oh, I'm okay. You see, the camera goes so weird sometimes. I'm not 100% sure how to fix that. I'm really sorry. I don't even know if I can fix it honestly oh there's a view of her her butt um yeah I'm not sure if I can fix it do oh oh god it's jumping all over the place sorry I'll try and keep it calm um for this level but do let me know in the comments if there is a way for me to slightly fix or stabilize this camera right well we're past that section it should be a bit calmer now I even knew it was gonna happen and it scared the crap out of me. Oh my god. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> I do miss Zip and Alistair talking to her now, I have to say. I do miss it. So let's read our journal about this thing. Okay, so this giant octopusy thing is a kraken. And a kraken is a giant sea creature, which basically looks like a giant octopus. <laughs> so this kraken is guarding the entrance to Niflheim so we need that to move out of the way so we can get into Niflheim and apparently Lara theorizes that 
This creature is not really a protector or guardian of Niflheim. It's simply just a creature that made its way into this room and then grew too large to leave. Lara also notices that the Kraken may be blind, so it can't see us or hear us when we're kind of far away from it. But if we do get too close to it, then it can hear us and it'll try and slap us with its tentacles, I guess. Okie dokie, so we definitely don't want to fall into the water with it. Um, I think I missed... Yeah, more jars here. Woo! Lara, what are you doing? Maggio. Right, and is there any jars over here? Oh no, but there's a health. Oh! Ooh, I can... Oh, I forgot I can do that. That's cool. I'm so sorry, guys. I feel like this playthrough is actually all over the place between me being terrified and having some issues with the game and with the controls and stuff. I just feel like this is all over the place. So I do apologize. I, I hope you're having fun anyway. <laughs> I really do hope so. Um, right, so... This part usually gives me so much trouble. I usually fall quite a bit. So I'm going to try my best to concentrate and not die too much. Oh god, that sound. Oh, oh the tentacles. That, oh, that's disgusting. Don't let it bother you. Don't let it bother you. Don't let, oh God, don't let it bother you. Oh. Don't let it bother you. Oh. oh, whoa, okay. Oh God, that squishy sound is horrible. Right, go. Go, 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 go. Oh, sugar, no! Oh, sugar. No. No. Um. What do I do now? I'm stuck. <gasps> oh God. No, it's gonna, it's gonna kill me. It's gonna kill me. It's gonna kill me. Oh, it's gonna kill me. It's going to 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 kill me. Lara, would you stop messing around, Lara? Oh! Oh! Um, but like, my ledge, my ledge is broken, though. How do I walk? How am I supposed to get to where I was trying to go with the ledge broken? How am I? Lara, would you stop doing that? How? Oh, I can get in this way, I think. Right, okay. No, I actually, no, I think this is fine. I think this actually worked out. Yeah, this is this is where I meant to go. Okay. Awesome. Oh! Jeez! Right. So, um we got rid of its tentacle. We almost hit ourselves <laughs> with the debris. Sugar. Oh, I have to slide. What is that noise? Did you put your tentacle back in here? I 
hope not. I'm, um... I'm stressed out. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I am stressed the hell out right now. Right, okay. So go careful, careful. Oh my God, its head is huge. Oh, what is, what is going on with this? Oh, something weird's happening. Something weird's happening, guys. Okay, uh, I just reloaded and it seems to be okay now. This video is cursed. It's, it's cursed, okay. Ooh. No, Lara. Ooh. Okay. We're okay. Everything, everything is fine. Everything is working. Right, let's just, let's just continue. I have heard that, um, Underworld doesn't run so great on PC. So it might just be something I have to deal with. I guess we'll, I guess we'll see. Um, right, so we need to get rid of its tentacle. There, there we go. Woo! Was that it? Nope. Uh, right. I did not do that correctly. Oh, there we go. That should be it. Yeah. Okay, so we've taken away the things holding that spiky chandelier. <laughs> it looks like a spiky chandelier. Up. So now we can drop spiky chandelier on its head. But I'm pretty sure that there are some... Uh, the noises it makes. There are some treasures down here. No, just pick that up. Oh, it's so scary. It's so scary looking. Oh, I think it saw me. Oh, oh no, I can't, it's blind. <laughs> maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe it heard me. I don't know. I, oh, whoa, that was a glitch. Glitchy, glitchy. Glitchy underworld. Why are you doing this to me? I don't remember there being this many issues when I was playing it on Xbox. Maybe it's just better on Xbox, is it? Hmm. Maybe I should have played it on Xbox. Oh well. Sure, look. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. Right, so let's drop this thingy on its head. Woo! Every time she does that, I think she's gonna fall. So... Right, I, th I think I just pull this now. Oh, this doesn't drop it, it hires it up. I see, okay. Do you know, this bit actually makes me feel really bad. Even though I hate the Kraken and it scares me, 
Uh, this bit is actually horrible. I feel really bad. Look, the Kraken is just there being a Kraken and trying to live its life and we just murder it. It's, it's not nice. I don't want, I don't want to maim the Kraken. I don't want to. Oh my god! I've never noticed before all the blood spurting out of it. Oh my god, the blood cracking! Wow, Lara just does not give a crap, does she? That actually really upset me, I'm not gonna lie. The poor Kraken. Right. It keeps turning off my light with the cutscenes. Right, and now for the terrifying part. We have to jump. We have to jump into the water with the, the dead Kraken's corpse. Because I haven't been through enough today. Right, let's just let's just get it over with then. Oh <gasps> this oh, there's one here. I'll take that. <clears throat> and we have to dive down to get treasure. Oh god. Oh, oh god. Cracking corpse. Cracking corpse. Where, where is the treasure? Just, duh, just give it to me. Ju there it is. I mean, I'm, I'm so sorry for you, poor Kraken, but you also scare the crap out of me. Right, let's go, let's go. <sighs> uh, was I supposed to open that? Oh, there's a switch here. Okay. <laughs> I was like, did I miss something? Woohoo! So, Niflheim. Sorry, Kraken. You were just in the way. Oh, whoa! I almost ran into that giant hole. What is wrong with me today? This has been... Honestly, at wow, that is a serious view of her derriere. Um, I don't know. I just feel like this whole playthrough has been such a disaster today. I'm, I'm not feeling great about it, honestly. But do you know what? This is, this is just the way it went badly just just have to go with it right I don't think there's any treasure Ooh, there's any treasures around here Ooh. can I oh oh I can jump did you guys see that? She can... She's like a gymnast. That's amazing. Oh, whoops. I almost fell. I'm fine. Thor, the Norse god of thunder. What are you doing down here in Niflheim? According to the Eddas, Thor needed special iron gauntlets to wield his mighty hammer Mjolnir. Could it be? Ooh, okay, so now we're into the level the Norse connection. So, Lara identifies the huge statue in the other room as being Thor the Norse god of thunder. She wonders what he's doing down here in Niflheim. Lara then refers to the Eddis and I was like, 
what the hell is an Edis? I'd never heard of it before. So apparently the Edis are a collection of old Norse poems from which most of our knowledge of Norse mythology comes from. So that's really interesting, I never knew that. So Lara says that the Edis states that Thor needed special iron gauntlets or gloves to wield his mighty hammer Mjolnir. Mjolnir. Oh my god. My fiance taught me how to say this word and I've forgotten now. Mjolnir. 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 Oh, I've probably completely messed it up. Lara wonders if the glowing glove could actually be one of those fabled gauntlets. Right, so we need to get in there. Um, let's see. Is there anything through here? Pretty sure there's a treasure. I'll take that. Don't think there's any anything else. Right. So we need to weigh these down. Oh! Oh, there's water running down. That's so cool. Unnerving, though. Because it feels like this place is not very stable. The sea is gonna break in. So press B to throw. Ooh! That was a good throw, Lara. Woo! She's a ninja. Right. No! Out you go. Oh, that wasn't far enough. Ah! There we go. Woo! Yep, everything, everything's a disaster today. Right. So, we've got Jesus. We've got two open in that one. And then we'll use ourselves to open that one. Put your hands on your head. Turn around. Slowly. I never heard that he sounds like he's an Irish accent before. <laughs> I don't suppose you'd be open to bribery, would you? <sighs> well, even if he is Irish, we don't like him. So let's very quickly go through that. As Lara reaches out and touches the glove, it glows blue and disintegrates, leaving behind a small device. Lara places this device on the back of her hand and it extends four straps and attaches in place. Blue energy radiates from it. So clearly this is some kind of mythical object with some kind of powers. And it could very well be Thor's actual gauntlet to wield Mjolnir. 
I don't know if I'm saying that right. As Lara ponders the connection between Thor's hammer and Avalon, a group of mercenaries sneak up behind Lara. The leader holds Lara at gunpoint, knocks her unconscious and takes the gauntlet. When Lara comes to, the man detonates an explosive, saying Amanda Evert sends her regards. So these are obviously Amanda's men that she sent down here after Lara to take whatever she found off of her. I think Amanda knew that she would find this gauntlet, so it was to take it from Lara. And unfortunately, the explosion seals Lara in this underwater tube. Oh, and we have more journal entries. I was checking my journal and these didn't have these. There is something buggy, something buggy about the game. Um, but let's just read through these quickly. So yeah, Niflheim is the world of mist, one of the nine worlds of Norse mythology linked by Yggdrasil. Nailed it. Nailed Yggdrasil, the world tree. We already covered this in the Ireland levels. While it seems clear that Niflheim is an underworld metaphor, original sources are contradictory as to whether it is distinct from Helheim, where those who did not die gloriously in battle go after death. Great, and then the other entries are kind of stuff that we've we've already covered really. So great, let's escape then. That's the first thing to do is to get the hell out of here. Woo! Okay. So, uh, is there any other in here? I don't think so. I think that's everything. So, yeah, stupid, stupid Irish man sealed us in. But his explosion, I guess, loosened this. Woo! Loosened this rock. So we can. Jesus, Lara, would you grab it? So we can use this to climb out. Um. Oh, there. I was like, I could have sworn there was one here and it was almost invisible. I could hardly see it. That was sneaky. And then there's more vases down here. See what I mean about not liking the treasures? It just feels like you're just going around kicking vases the entire time. Um, not hugely exciting. So how do I get up here actually? Oh, I think I, think I do this one. Oh my god, I'm okay. Fine. Right. So there, there's nothing hiding in here, I don't think. But yeah, there's definitely too many of them. Too many treasures, I think. But that is just my opinion. So, okay, we're back in the Kraken room. There's your man there. Right. So, hmm, how do I... Oh, I swing. Okay, don't mess it up. Don't mess it up. used a lot of the health that I picked up though. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure actually as well that just like with Legend, everything kind of resets itself for each section. 
So I'll be playing this game section by section. So some of the videos will be quite long. There'll be seven in total. But yeah, I'm pretty sure everything resets. So there's no point in... Oh! Whoa! What's happening? Oh god. There's no point in hoarding supplies, I don't think. There you are. So this should be the final relic or treasure. And then the relic should be over here. There we go. There it is. Look, it looks like a giant snitch. How cute. Okay. So is that everything? Yes. Miraculously, I got everything in this level. Um, can I just drop here? Is this the right way? Oh, I think so. I think it is. Right, so I can just I can just play now until the end. I don't have to worry about picking things up or anything like that. We have to do the swim. We have to do the swim back. Oh, come on, Suzanne. You're almost there. Just, oh. Just the swim back. Ugh. This camera is wild. Absolutely wild. Right, we're going over here. Over here. Sorry, I'm concentrating so I don't get um, disorientated. Right, so I think we're back now and we just need to do the swim out. Okay, let's go. Oh, it's so dark down here. Just, just do it. Just do it and get it done. Ooh. Sorry, I'm just trying not to hit into the jellyfish <laughs> because they sting you. Okay, um, shark. Let me, let me equip that spear gun, just in case. Shark? I'm afraid it's gonna bite me as I start to... Swim up! Oh my god! Oh, they were just fish. <gasps> oh, that was a, that was a grenade. Right, guys, I'm too freaked out. I just have to go. I'm just, I'm just gonna close my eyes. I'm just gonna close my eyes. <laughs> I can't. Tell me when I'm there. <laughs> oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! <sighs> just get me out! Just get me out! Right. Oh my god. Thank goodness. It's over. It's over. <laughs> oh, I am going to watch this back and be like, I look like such an idiot. Okay. Oh, she's mad. She is 
pissed. She means business. So when Lara resurfaces, she spots a large ship that the divers who attacked her obviously came from. Lara then drives her boat there to find Amanda, who is clearly on board, and get her gauntlet back. I love the way she stands with her hands on her hips. It's so funny. Right, so I'm a lot calmer now and a lot happier now that that underwater bit is done. So I can kind of relax a bit now and just enjoy, enjoy the game. Right. Build up adrenaline to dodge enemies. Oh, huh. I don't remember that. Oh, I've got the spear gun. That's not, that's not good. Hang on, I have other guns, don't I? Let me, let me equip other guns. Oh, but look, I've got assault rifle. Let's do it. There we go, okay. So, um, yeah, I'm not so good at strategy, so I I'm just gonna run down and start, start blasting. That that's my plan. Press Y when you're close to Melly. Oh, haha! <laughs> That's fun. I like that. Close it! Ah. <laughs> oh my god. That death animation was hilarious. The way he just like over dramatically ragdolled. That's really funny. Okay. So we can just climb up on these. Ah! Take that. Medipack. I will probably need that. Press or B to throw a sticky grenade. Sticky? How is it sticky? Oh, it sticks to them! Look, it's stuck on its arm! <laughs> it's stuck on his arm! They actually stick to them! I never noticed that before. Right. Sticky grenade for you! Yeah! Sticky grenade for you! <laughs> oh my god, they're brilliant! Oh yeah, you want you want a sticky grenade? <laughs> Take her out. Boom. Do you also want a sticky grenade? <laughs> oh brilliant. Hit this guy as well. I'm um yeah, I, I'm having way too much fun with this on the time. <laughs> I don't think it reflects well on me as a person. Ooh, Medipack. Whoa. I tripped over a giant box. Ooh. Almost fell off, but I'm okay. There's another medipack here. Right. Hello? Oh. You take a- Oh no, I'm out of sticky grenades! I'm out of sticky grenades! What the? 
I took out my binoculars instead of a health pack. Take that. Oh! Take that. Okay, is that is that all of them? I could have sworn there was a lot more than that, but oh well. I'm sure there's more in here. Hang on, let me get another gun. Let me get another gun. Tranquilizer gun, no. Submachine guns. Shotgun. Let's do shotgun. Yeah. Awesome. Oh! I mean, realistically, I think I would have just taken one of those blasts to take him down, but it's fine. I I won't complain. Oh, did you not die? How dare you? So rude. Warning, use handrail. <laughs> That was that was the Irish guy, right? That was the main guy who stole the the thingy from us, wasn't it? So, we don't care. We don't care that he died. But he did blow up the ship. this way. Damn, it's too small. Only Lara can use it now. Until I kill her. Even that won't unbind the artifact. We're taking their water. Damn it! We'll pick this up again later. I'm very pleased to see you again, Lara. This specimen jar offers little in the way of amusement. So I've grown fond of watching Amanda suffer the effects of sharing <laughs> your interests. Jacqueline Nutha, you just don't know when to die. A trait we have in common. It was you who told Amanda about Avalon. Our time is short, so choose your questions carefully. What do you know about my mother? The dais you and she found in Nepal, it's part of a travel network, so to speak. It took your mother to Avalon. My father thought Avalon was below, but that's Niflheim. What's the Norse connection? Ah, Richard found the wrong Norse underworld. Your mother didn't go to Niflheim. She went to Helheim. Where is it? I will tell you where it is, one day. <sighs> but when that day comes, You'll need Thor's hammer to get inside. Perhaps you'll have better luck finding it than your father did. What do you mean? Your answer is on the west coast of Thailand. Send it in parallel. Ooh. All right. So again, I find all of this quite confusing, so let's just really quickly go through that. So when Lara peers into the next room, she sees Amanda standing up on a platform and she is holding the gauntlet that her men stole from Lara. Amanda is frustrated that the device is too small for her hand. So basically, she's tried to put the device on and it won't fit her. 
a voice tells her that the artifact is now bound to Lara and only she can use it. So basically Lara putting it on when she found it, the artifact has now bound itself to the shape of Lara's hand and only Lara can use it. Killing Lara, as Amanda suggests, won't change that. Amanda learns that the ship is taking on water and she leaves to deal with that danger. When Amanda leaves, Lara enters the room to see Jacqueline Natla imprisoned in a large glass cylinder. So of course, this is Tomb Raider 1's Jacqueline Natla and that is how the Tomb Raider 1 remake anniversary fits in to this whole story. Lara and Natala talk and we learn that Amanda is holding Natala prisoner after digging her up from the ruins of Atlantis. So clearly Natala did not die at the end of Tomb Raider 1 as we thought she did. Amanda then learned of Avalon's existence from Natala. So I guess they're saying that Natala told her about Avalon's existence and put the idea in her head that she wanted to go there. Although it's still never expressly explained why exactly Amanda wants to get to Avalon so bad. Natala reveals that the dais Lara found in Nepal is part of a travel network. Natala reveals that while searching for Avalon, Lara's father found Niflheim instead. So what we were in under the sea is indeed Niflheim, not Avalon. However, Natala believes that Lara's mother did not end up in Niflheim. She ended up in Helheim, another Norse underworld. Lara demands to know where Helheim is. Natala says that she will tell her one day, but Lara will need Thor's hammer to enter. Lara demands that Natala tell her more, but Natala only mentions the west coast of Thailand before Amanda's helicopter lifts her glass prison into the air and carries her away from the sinking ship. And now, of course, we have to escape the sinking ship before we die and drown. Let's go. Okay. So... This bit's quite cool, actually, I think. Whoa! That stupid idiot who, like, said it. Oh, wrong way. Who said it um, on fire. Oh! Hold LB to sprint. Whoa! 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 Oh god, oh god, oh god. Wah! Woo! Oh my god. Uh, where do I go? Where do I go? Oh, oh. Oh! <laughs> Yikes. This bit is, is super cool, but really, really tricky. Oh! Ooh! It did a little flippy flip. Oh god! Come on, Lara. I, I just can't get over that view when she's climbing. It's it's a bit much, you know? <laughs> a bit much. Right, come on, Lara.
as Lara exits the ship, she sees Amanda fly by on the ladder of her helicopter. Lara starts shooting and to save her life, Amanda throws the gauntlet into the ocean. Lara immediately dives in after her prize. As she returns to her boat with the gauntlet, we know where she's heading next. Thailand. Ooh, that was a long section. I feel like I've been recording for ages with all the bugs and different issues that I had and everything. I think I've been recording for like three hours now. I'm sure the video will be much shorter when I edit it down. But yeah, I did really, really enjoy that, but I'm also really, really glad that that is over. I was honestly dreading that level. It freaks me out so much. But I'm really excited to get into Thailand in the next part. Thailand is so beautiful. As I said while I was playing, I will be doing this game section by section. So that was the entire Mediterranean Sea section. Next we'll do Thailand and we'll just keep it all in a big section. Some of these videos might be quite long actually. There's going to be seven videos in total for the game. I can't guarantee that I will have a video out every week for this playthrough because if a certain section is super long it might just take me a bit longer than a week to research it and record it and edit it and all of that. I think we're just gonna have random upload times for this playthrough and then when we start into the remasters we'll go back to having a regular weekly schedule for those. Thank you so so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this video. I'm really sorry that it was a bit of a mess and I was kind of all over the place in it. But oh well, I guess sometimes that is just how playthroughs go. Hopefully Thailand will run a lot smoother than that. If you did enjoy this video, I would really appreciate if you would consider liking, commenting or subscribing if you haven't already. It really does mean a lot to me and I will see you really, really soon in part two.